Welcome back. A mobile born rapper who's been in and out of trouble with the law over the past several years now in federal custody on a gun charge. Nashawn Jones, who performs under the name Honeycomb Brazy, is one of three people arrested during a traffic stop earlier this month. Fox News Brendan Kirby is live at the Breaking News Center with more on this. Brendan, all of this starting at the WK Wilson Bridge on Interstate 65. Yeah, that's right, Lee. It was December 18th. The Mobile County Sheriff's deputy noticed that the sport utility vehicle had tinted windows and pulled it over at exit 22 on I-65 in Crayola. Court records filed last week indicate that law enforcement officers found guns and drugs. An affidavit filed by an FBI task force officer says a sheriff's deputy noticed a 2022 Cadillac Escalade was in the passing lane for too long on Interstate 65 and had tinted windows. The driver was listed as 31-year-old Mobile resident Mason Fuller. Court documents say he was wearing a soft body armor labeled Enforcement and had a bulletproof vest inside the vehicle. The passengers were identified as Nashawn Jones, who is known by Honeycomb Brazy and a 39-year-old Houston man named Miguel Hall. According to the affidavit, deputies found a Gerson 9mm pistol near where Fuller was sitting and a Smith & Wesson AR pistol under the third row seat near where Jones and Hall were sitting. All three were prohibited by law from having guns, Fuller because of a protection from abuse order signed by a judge in Georgia, and the other two because of prior felony convictions. The affidavit also alleges that deputies found a partially smoked marijuana cigarette in the ashtray and a liquid medicine bottle that investigators believe may have been a syrupy narcotic drink known as lean. Jones has put out a number of rap music videos depicting guns and violent lyrics. He's been arrested several times, most recently in November, on a charge that he exposed himself to a corrections officer at Mobile County Metro Jail in October 2021. Mobile County District Judge Spiro Cheriogatis dismissed that charge on December 13th after the victim indicated that she didn't want to move forward. That was just five days before the traffic stop on Interstate 65. Jones has experienced the criminal justice system from the other side as well. Investigators say Jones's grandparents were killed in a drive-by shooting and fire in 2022. Investigators believe the killing was revenge against one of Jones's associates. The first murder trial in that shooting is scheduled for May. Jones and his co-defendants in the latest gun case, meanwhile, will appear in U.S. District Court. A date hasn't yet been set. Reporting live from the News Center, Brendan Kirby, Fox 10 News.